Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Minecraft Story Mode. Last episode, we kind of rounded up a bunch of facts about Fred to get inside of his house. Now, we're going to test our trivia skills and see what is up. So let us go talk to Binta, Binta, ah, there you are. and start the are trivia ready quiz. To begin? I'm ready. Let's do this. It's about time. Attention, everyone! Let all faithful friends of Fred gather, for our competition begins now! Gather around, everyone! Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion, Kent! And we have a challenger! Uh... Jesse. It's Jesse. Jesse! That feeling of intimidation? Totally normal. I have that effect on people comes from being the best. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude! May the most faithful friend of Fred win. Oh, I will. For our first question, I thought we'd mix it up a little. I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse's the best at building! Not the time, Radar. Begin! Okay, so we have to build Fred here. So basically what I'm seeing, how much, how much, like, okay. Uh, how do I place stuff? Oh, okay. Okay, cool. So let's see. Um, I guess let's have a yellow stripe going down the middle, right? And then... A little bit of shoulder pad action. And then we probably have some blue. And then some more yellow. Yellow and some blue, right? And then maybe some darker blue in between. And then, of course, let's have his actual face. Oh, man, I wish I had, like, different shades of blue. And then I guess we'll just... Oh, that's not supposed to do that. Let's have brown here. Some brown just like that. I wish I... Okay, well, he has red eyes, right? So let's place red eyes just like that. And then have his mouth right there. Of course, he has a green gem right there. And he has a green gem right... Th oh, wait. Um, so let's make the rest of this kind of white. Because I need to add his green gem, right? So I guess let's just do this. And put the green gem there. Okay. And then let's add maybe some blue stripes just like that. Ugh. That is... That is quite hideous. But uh, let's do it. Nice. Yes, yes, yes! Jesse, it's as if you've known Fred his whole life. What? How could you say that? That, that thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This uh. is his true essence. Really? Though, okay. I must give you points for accuracy. Such painstaking detail. I declare this round. He forgot the green draw. gems there. What? This was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Correct! Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. But what kind of blue did he love the most? Your time begins now. Come on, Jesse, you can do this! His favorite color was lapis blue. That is correct. Well done. Next question. Kent, Fred was a man of simple means. 
but he had one point of excess. His favorite tool. What was it? A diamond hoe. Obviously. Very good! Jesse, Fred had a constant companion. A fine, feathery friend. <laughs> what was that pet's name? We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. Fred's pet, his best friend, was named Waffles. For the way he was always waffling. That is correct! Jesse, well done! I am rather astounded that the competition continues to be this close. Kent, you might finally lose your title. Listen closely, both of you. The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly know. As such, it is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our homes with, this was Fred's favorite. Birch. What was it? Wait, what? Uh, no one knows that. Uh, Fred didn't play favorites with resources. It's Birch. It's Birch! You... Uh, yes. Yes! Birch was Fred's favorite. That's right! Jesse won! <laughs> Way to go, Jesse! Congratulations! That was very impressive. I'm sure I'm not the only one surprised by this turn of events. As your prize, you will spend one night in Fred's house. Be careful not to disturb its contents. And here are your sleeping garments. The true <laughs> mark of Fred. Only the champion gets to wear these. It's a very special privilege. You know, Kent did a great job out there. He, he should have the uh, sleeping garments. You would really... I don't need your pity prize. Here's an idea. No one gets them. How about that? <laughs> Jesse. I hope you find what you're looking for. Yeah, me too. Okay, if I were a weapon of some sort, where would I be? Guess blue really is Fred's favorite color. Even the bed's blue. No one will mind if I just... <laughs> Foundation. Whoa, half the pages are gone. And the rest, there are a lot of notes. Nothing in here now, except that button. It's a... Secret room. There's got to be something down here. This one is called the Survivor's Book of Secrets. Okay, secrets are good. This book contains the collective knowledge of the survivors. We're an underground group of survival experts who have been around since the early days. And it goes on. Signed by the chief. I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. That, this is Fred's journal. 
I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait, home? Then he wasn't talking about here. There's got to be something in here that says where this cabin is. Three towns. There's the oasis there and the keep. Third is... Romeoburg. Seriously? What kind of name is Romeoburg? No cabin, though. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. Binta! Jesse, I... There's something I need to ask you about. Uh... How did you know the answer to that last question? It's not common knowledge, and it was shared with me in great confidence before... I knew because Zara told me. She knew Fred better than anyone. Zara? As in Fred's Zara. The Zara. The one and only. She hasn't been seen down here in a very, very long time. You're more impressive than you seem. Maybe they're right after all. Maybe you are from above the bedrock. Rumors have been going around since your arrival. There aren't many people we don't recognize down here. Yeah, about that. Well... Did you at least find what you were looking for? This... weapon? I don't know why Fred would have one. But I must admit I'm curious. I'm afraid we need to ask you for more help. Oh? Fred mentioned a cabin where he, Zara, and Romeo live. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now he's in our town, pretending to be me. We need to stop him. Problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. I want to help you, but there's something I need from you in return. If you're really from up there, then you must have a way back. Take us with you, above the bedrock. Above? Vinta, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. We're safe here. And if Romeo... You welcomed us in. Of course we'll help you. Thank you. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. They'll come around. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the Oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They've got a massive army, so be careful. Please, take good care of it. You've shown I can trust you to respect Fred's memory. You didn't have to do this. Thank you, really. You're very welcome. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Great, you're here. We've got a new destination, so... Mm. Uh, wait, what? I, I don't think I heard that right. What did he say? He says he's not coming with us. He's gonna stay here and wait for Jack. Hey. Nurm, we can't just leave you here by yourself. I understand, Nurm. Someone should be here when Jack gets back. Hey. 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 We understand, Nurm. He says he'll look for the fireworks. Once he finds Jack, they'll meet us at the Oasis. Hey, stay safe.
man, I can't believe how obsessed those people were with that Fred guy. So weird, right? I mean, were they really that different from you with Jesse? I... what? No, it... I... I am a stone-cold professional. My interest in Jesse was completely professional. Don't be so sensitive, Radar. Petra's just teasing you. I know, I know. Just a little too real. Sorry, Radar. I, I just tease because I love. To tease. So, uh, what's the compass saying? We still heading the right way? Hang on, let me check. Seems like we're still on. Cracks out, everybody brace yourselves. Ugh. 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 Uh, rough ride. Man, the track is a complete wreck. Yeah. What's up with you? What the? Only one person I know fights like that. You are the real Jesse! Ivor? <clears throat> yes! It is I, your friend Ivor. I'm a ninja now, Jesse! What? Yeah, what? It all started when I fell through a portal into some sort of strange world. Everything was all white. Master Shadow's domain. He claimed he was a ninja master, a practitioner of the shadow arts. At first, I wanted nothing to do. Nice. Huh, you see? Ninja reflexes. Wait, you tried to hit me. Why'd you try to hit me? That would have been quite painful. Wow. Master Shadow teach you how to whine, too? Uh, sorry, Ivor. Just something about your face makes me think to punchy thoughts. Don't worry. People tell me the same thing. I, uh... I see. But seriously, what are you doing down here? Uh, right! Let me explain. You see, it all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, you had mysteriously vanished after fighting a prismarine giant named the Admin. Right. Only to return. Having defeated this Admin, and taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not right. I mean, you didn't believe it, right? I did it first. How could I not? Looked like you, sounded like you, except now you could fly around and had all sorts of cool superpowers. Jesse, AKA the admin, gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, AKA you. But with my new ninja's senses, <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right. Anyone who disagrees, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. Oh, they must hate me. It's certainly not helping your reputation. No, but I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that. That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Luckily, it worked out, because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Classic thing to say to your friends. I can tell you're being sarcastic, but you'd be surprised. Please, as if you could have actually killed me. I'm a ninja now, Jesse. You'd be surprised just how deadly I can be. Anyone else get chills? I got chills from that one. Wait, but what am I doing wasting time talking? 
If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. You can make up a lie and you'll never suspect that I'm actually down Which here. Which will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon! Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja! Anyway, that plan is all well and good. But what exactly should I tell the admin? It needs to be plausible, but dramatic. Yeah, believable, but entertaining. Realistic, but shocking. Just tell him that I'm still obediently doing my time in the Sunshine Institute. Hmm, yes. I'm sure descriptions of your tear-stained cheeks and remorseful eyes will be quite the hit. You're a real poet, Ivor. Ninja! I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. No, oh, wait, can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's getting dire up there. Smoke bomb! <laughs> You saw nothing. We all just saw that, right? I, I didn't like hallucinate Ninja Ivor. Nah. -uh. Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get any weirder. And we're ready to roll. Come on, guys. have you I uh, think we need to go into that building behind you if that's okay uh you know it is in fact not okay okay now just move along and don't go anywhere near the building or we will sick our army on you or we'll sick our army on you wouldn't want to unleash the force of our army yes we've heard amazing things about your army because we're the new recruits but Jesse we're not <laughs> That's great. We should let him in. Because we really don't have Shut a... Shut it! <clears throat> we doubt your claims. <laughs> See this? This is my dowdy face. Hey, army! You too, Jeff! Let's take these invaders out! Uh, that's weird. It's not weird. The army just... just... Uh... Took a power nap! Now they're stronger than ever. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to their nap. Yeah. We're not gonna ask you again, all right? You just skedaddle before our well-rested army makes you regret it. They're gearing up. Yeah, it's the biggest army you've ever heard right here. Is that an audio disc? You're an audio disc. Yeah, what kind of morons would have a jukebox sitting just out of you behind the city's parapets? <laughs> Fine. You have outfoiled us. We don't have an armor. Mm, yeah, I know, but uh, still can't let you in. Sorry. Really, it's for your own good. That building you're pointing at? That's Romeo's challenge. Yeah, it's nothing more than a death trap. The worst kind of trap. Which is why we vowed to keep everyone out. Even relentless travelers like you. I mean, you should thank us for keeping you away from it, okay? We're doing you a solid. I escaped Romeo's highest security prison, the Sunshine Institute. I think I can handle some little challenge. Whoa, that's hardcore. Whoa, yeah. Anyone who escaped that place? Mad props. Open! The gate! On it! No, Soup. The, the gate. Yeah, the, the real gate. Right! On it! Whoa, weird llama. 
She must smell Luna on you. Everyone enters a mysterious challenge room, then never comes out. We'll do that. I, uh, <coughs> suppose that, uh, might affect population levels a little. Uh, we still don't feel good about permitting you in the challenge room, especially unarmed. But we'll trade you some gear if you can build something to scare off future unwanted visitors. You know, like a snowman or a huge flower. Just. <sighs> Make something that will help us strike fear into the hearts of all who would see it. Keep people off our backs. Something to give us a little me time. Okay, so we gotta build something. Something spooky, apparently. So, uh, I don't really know of our boundaries, right? You know what? Could this be fine? I mean, I don't really know what's supposed to be spooky, so I'm just kind of building for giggles, you know, it'll be fine. Oh, wow. That will give me nightmares. <laughs> well done. Yes. Wonderfully horrifying. Organized, not alphabetized, not even sorted by material? This is barbaric! This is what we managed to salvage from the goofballs. Uh, I mean, residents who tried entering. Okay, uh, strap, armor number, feeling cute, dented danger, please don't hit me, llama brownish, goofball, and then the tooth chipper. Uh, let's see, which one am I feeling? I'm feeling this one, actually. it through it probably won't be that hard right but guys I think I will end off the episode here for today now I do have to wait for a cutscene because obviously I don't to stop in the middle of something you know what we can just stop there guys thanks for watching if you did enjoy make sure to like and comment as a personal channel and I will see you guys later God bless and goodbye